Nicholas, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, can you take me through the meet and how things have gone for you uh, there in Melbourne? Well, I did my my last event here in Melbourne. It's it's really awesome. Uh, of course, I I was trying to break my own road record, twenty one seven five, but it was pretty close, twenty one seven eight. But it's I think it's too hard to to break this record. But I'm I'm really happy to to still competing here in the, with these guys with the strong swimmers, and uh, but I think for me I I I'm feeling that it's time to say goodbye to competitive swimming. Uh, what what makes now the right time for you, especially? I mean, going out on top, it's it's pretty great, but yeah, what what makes now the the right time for that? I think it's time. I'm 42 years old, and uh, my routine is is almost crazy in Brazil with uh, with kid. I have a boy; he's six years old, and I think to to keep me swimming fast, I need to travel all, around the world. And because uh, in Brazil we don't have a lot of competitions, we just have like two not good competitions um, we have some good swimmers but um and traveling all the world for me it's it's really hard to stay like three or four months competing and traveling and my family in brazil so i decide in that moment that i touched the wall and i was diving into the lines here and uh, and i decided in that moment of course i was planning to something like that but when I touched the wall and I won the the event, this event, and uh, I I thought it was time to say to announce this. Yeah, um, can you take me through that race and you know what went well for you in it? And um, obviously, you were shooting for that world record, but uh, can you kind of dissect that fifty fly and how you were able to go just three one hundreds off your personal best? Well, it's pretty hard to. I tried a few times to to break this record, and uh, and ISL I swam for twenty one seven eight as well, twenty one eighty, twenty one eighty one, and I oh my god, since two thousand eighteen, I was trying to do different things to improve my event, and I can tell right right now because I retire, I can tell what I did. So I did nine underwater kick and five strokes. And uh, the second 25, I did 11 underwater kick and five strokes. And I was analyzing the other swimmers, the competitors, the Zabu, Carter, all the good swimmers. And all the swimmers was doing like six strokes. And my strategy was like, I need to do five and a little glide because the guys were we're doing the last stroke. So this is my strategy to, to be in front of the, these boys. And, uh, but it's, I almost break this record, but that's fine for me. It's gold is gold and that's it. Do you think you, uh, do you think you might come back to swimming at some point or um, do you think you'll be swimming in any capacity moving forward? If I if I have plans, future plans to come back to swimming, you, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think the routine uh, to keep me swimming fast. I had to put a hundred a hundred percent energy to to still competitive, and uh, I think my entire day I I just I feel really tired, very very tired. <laughs> so if I I try to plan a transition not right now. It's it's really hard to to put a hundred percent energy in swimming, and uh, and I it I I don't have sure, but maybe I I wouldn't swim so fast if I split the activity. For example, the business that I'm starting, so um, a physical therapy school. 
like uh, thinking about the school for private streaming school for kids. So it's really hard to put energy in this project since it's still competing and streaming fast. So for me, um, high performance is like you had to put 100% energy and that's it. Mm. But I don't know, but maybe master swimmer, maybe <laughs> some presentation or something. <laughs> but right now I, I can't answer you <laughs> in that issue. <laughs> totally understand. Um, Nicholas, thank you so much for your time. Congrats on a career and uh, and hopefully we can talk again in the future. Well, of course, of course. I, I'll be here close to swimming. Uh, the the Finna's president invited me to be ambassador here in, in Finna. So the word Aquaticans, the, they changed the name, of course. <laughs> the logo, everything changed, more movements. And uh, I'll need to understand the activities, uh, what what I can contribute to the competitive swimming, especially to deliver more and knowledge in some countries that they don't have some good facilities. We'll see. So I'll try to deliver this my my knowledge to swimming. Um, awesome. Yeah, great talking to you. Uh, Thank you so much for your time and, and good luck moving forward. All right. Thank you so much, Kevin.